Hello everyone, my name is Shambh. We hope you all are doing well. So in the previous video, we had seen now that how you can use of this alter function and even how you could just use of this truncate function as well. Right, these were the things which we had seen in the previous video. Now today in this particular video, we are going to see that how you can insert out the values for these particular columns, how you can insert out the rows onto this particular table which we had made out and that is imply. Right, so now we are just going to see out this into insert function and that is that comes under the DML command. So let me just um, see the, okay, this is allow and this one is basically the describe, the create, alter describe, add and okay, these are the things right here. Then we have, um, okay, this, this is a TCL command, okay, that is okay. This is the DQL command, right? So here the select comes and fine. Okay, I will just let you know that thing onto that particular place only. Before that, here we come for the insert, right? First of all, let's take an idea about that DML command. That what is that DML command used for? Fine, the so DML full form for that is basically the data manipulation language. And these statements are particularly used for managing out the data within a schema object right what are the objects you are having out so these are the commands which are used for managing out the data there are total two types of dml commands that is a data manipulation language first one is the procedural and second one is the declarative so what about the procedural one so it requires a user to specify that what data are needed and how to get those data so when you is the case that a user need to specify that what are the data needed and how to get out that data so that particular section come uh, comes under the procedural dmls and what about the declarative one so uh, require a uh, require a user to specify what data are needed without specifying how to get those data so when the condition is that you need to specify that what data is needed but you do not need to specify that how to get out those data so in that case we simply just use out this declarative dml so first of all, hope you are clear with both of these conditions, both of these two types, which I mentioned about the procedural and about the declarative, right? Then under that, we have this insert that is used for inserting out the data into the table. Let's now just go on to the SQL workbench and see how the practical for this particular thing, right? Inserting a data now. You, we had uh, till now we had just made out our uh, table we had first of all made out the data then we had made out the table we had checked out we have altered we had added some columns onto that table these are all the functions which we have performed till now now it's the time for adding out some uh, rows some values into the data so that we can perform out several other operations onto this right let's get started with that so here first of all comes out my insert function that I was mentioning that we'll be using out this insert. So there comes the insert function. After that, I'll be using out this into. Into means that we are to insert out. So where I need to insert, I need to insert that into the employee table, right? Into the employee table, right? So it's, it is insert into employee. Putting out the bracket. Now, what are the ways and sorry, what are the column names which you are having out? So let's go and check that out for a while. That was employee ID, employee name, employee book, and the email. So let's put them all up down here. So that is employee ID. Okay, putting out a comma. We have employee uh, name. Again, putting out a comma. Employee ID, employee name. Uh, yes, then we were having employee work. Right, and then we were having one last part is the email. Right, so I just listed all, all of these here that what is the work of all of these particularly. Right, so insert into employee, insert into my table name. These are the columns which we have into the uh, into the, this particular table. Now, what values you want to enter? So here comes the values. Putting out the bracket here, now I'll be giving out different values onto this. So first one, basically my employee ID. So simply, I could just simply write out here one separated by a comma. Then what are the next things that we are having? We were having employee name. Okay. So, okay. Let's say my employee name is um, Arun. Okay, my employee name. Fine. Putting out a comma. What about then? Okay, what about the next we were having? We were having the employee work right let me just move uh, forward yeah employee work and then email 
what is the work of this employee so this employee is basically let's say um okay software engineer okay engineer engineer find this this particular uh, person let's say software engineer and what's the email id okay so email id let's let it be like that uh, let it be arun at the rate at the rate gmail.com this is the email id of this particular person right this is how we put out and we insert out the values into our table i would just select out this particular command and i would just run it out here see on to the downside it has been basically it is this particular command worked out for me at the last one right now i would just take this again down here and now what i would just do is that let me just um, uh, okay what i would just do i would just try to describe this one describe and now it's time to run that out okay so in the description just coming that same only okay let's result close this out here for a mile for a while and okay let's do one thing first of all let's insert out all of the values whichever you just want to insert into this and after that we are going to see out the rest of the stuffs right that how to execute and all all those things fine so here i'll be getting here again insert into then we have um employ e m p l o y insert employ here we come with the okay now what i would just do is that i'll be copying out this things because i'm just not going to write out these things again and again here so it's control c and comes the paste out option here coming to a new line uh, what has happened to oh, fine and here comes the option for the values and inside the bracket what are the values that i'm going to get out so let's say it is the two name is let's say seema okay putting out a comma let's say let's say she is um okay let's say she is the business analyst right putting out a once again a comma and now you let's say the email id is seema at the rate gmail.com fine and closing out the bracket right here okay one thing to be mentioned out here i just need to put out a semicolon at the last and here as well at the last fine okay first of all hope you just got out the idea that how we just try to run out these things now what i would just do is that i would just select out some statements okay i would just use out my select function and try to run out some statements from here so that is let's say i'm just uh, giving it a try that what are the things i'm just writing are they going correct or not afterwards we'll be adding some more values and some inserting some more things into this as well okay select and okay here comes the employee underscore id from and what's my table name my table name is employee right and putting out the comma like this and now it's the time for running out this okay i, I haven't run out this particular statement so let's run that out here fine that is completely okay and now i'll be running this as well here right to so see employee id are coming for me one and two right here you are able to see i guess fine this is how you would be able to see out the things and yeah whatever we are just writing right here that is absolutely correct right so this is the way for checking out the things that whatever you are entering let's say i just remove out this employee id and i just put on here as name okay and now if i just try to again run out this particular statement see my employee name as arun and seema right so this is how you could just again i'm just again saying this is how you could just uh, check out that whatever the things you are actually writing out here are these going correct or basically whatever the data you are entering out here is that getting uh, saved is that getting stored onto the tables or not right let me just give you again an overview whatever we had done out first of all we used out this truncate function after that we were now trying to insert out the values onto the column names whichever we were having so my column names which i was having that was employee id it was employee name employee work and the email right these four were the columns that i was having so into that so i just started entering out the values id was one name was arun and let's say employee work was software engineer 
and the email i have just mentioned out here as well same thing i have just done for the second one as well right right here i was just checking that are these two things going correct or not so that is the reason i just used to run out this select the statement here right otherwise i would have entered some more values into this and then have run this out so we'll be entering some more values into the next video right here but here i just used out the select function to check out whether the things that are writing are they correct or not there are several different ways for this select as well that we'll be discussing in the next video right so this is all for this video till then thank you and take care